And here we are, last tackle. Five metres out, Roby gives the ball to Lachlan Cooch. And Lachlan Cooch is over for the first try for the Saints. Four minutes gone, first blood to St Helens. It's within five metres of the cast line. Tackle number five, last one coming up then. Here is Farge, and that's Morgan Knowles. And it's a penalty for a high shot right underneath the sticks. Liam Watts stuck his arm out there, knew that Morgan Knowles, who's had such a good start to 2019, Just stay there. short, two or three metres away from the line and a lunging arm from Watts. I doubt here that this, this uh, trait of kicking penalty goals is coming back into fashion. Well, you'd imagine Lachlan Coote will kick this. And he does. And the Saints have got a new chant. It's Roby. Lomax sending it wide to Coote, further wide to Percival, and out to Regan Grace. What about that? What about that from Regan Grace? Four tackles gone. Castleford, can they weather the storm? It is with Dominique Peru, and the answer is no, they can't. No, they can't. And Greg Eden has paid the ultimate price for the sloppy pass in field. Almost immediately. As Don Peru plays the ball to Roby, this is Farge. Back it comes to Lomax. Here is Zeb Taya, and they're in again, St. Helens. Start of the second half, mirroring the start of the first. Still coming with Matty Lees. Surrender! Still. That's four that Castleford have withstood. Here is Farge. Looks for the runners. It's Louis McCarthy Scarsbrook. And Louis McCarthy Scarsbrook scores the latest St. Helens try. Off the bench. Roby from the base of the scrum to Lomax. Here is Lachlan Coote. There's movement everywhere for St. Helens. Players running into space, holding their space. This is Percival. Percival gets another. Mark Percival gets another for St. Helens. They are winning this match with ease. Oh, Castle for just three. having one of those off days. I think St. Helens are as hot as they could ever be. Yeah. Really. They are red hot. They really are in great form. And Match of the attack with the defence. Zeptena cuts through the middle. And he's given it to Lomax. It's a procession for Lomax, is it? No, he just stuttered a little bit there, but the danger's still not gone. There's a bunch of Castleford players racing to get back in position. Oh! And Michael Shenton has picked up the interception. He's oh, checking is going he for offside. Here comes Regan Grace. Regan Grace goes down. Michael Shenton will get the try for Castleford. Castleford beat St. Helens here 53 10 in a Challenge Cup tie, May 2017. It was the last game before Justin Holbrook arrived. And no wonder he's smiling. No wonder he's smiling because Peru could be over for another here. James Charles not 100% convinced, but what's the decision on the field? It's a try, and he says that Dominic Peru has got his second try of the night moving forward i think he powers his, his way over the line look you can see Cass trying to prevent that i think he the tip of the ball just there now as the shoulder comes yeah. across as i say it's gone up as a try yeah well, we go for the super zoom the video referee has to find sufficient evidence to overturn it i think the tip of the ball uh, is under his wing and it's just on the the grass you can see that when he rolls over it rolls over there uh, Cass's arm but it's a try for me. Here comes Chris Kendall's version of events. It's given. Dominic Peru gets his second try of the night. The end of the year. What a tremendous game. And look at this. Tommy Makinson getting involved, looking to link up. We've got a man on the overlap wide. It's Regan Grace, which Mark Percival with speed. It's Mark Percival has got Lomax inside in. And Lomax goes over for another St. Helens try. Right behind the posts. Right behind the posts. Oh. At the cherry. Oh. Terence, we are a minute and 15 seconds away from the end of this match. You have a plethora, which means quite a few. <laughs> St. Helens players, I'm sure to choose as your man of the match. Who's it going to be? Well, there's been so many good performances, hasn't there, for Saints. Lachlan Coote, Johnny Lomax, James Roby, who thinks only just gone off the field. And Jake off. Truman goes. Jake Truman's looking for a consolation, he gets one. Jake Truman 
put Scassigle into double figures. It is consolation and nothing more for the Tigers. There's the siren. This is the last kick of the match. A touch of respectability, nothing much more on the scoreline. 12 points to 42, a 30-point victory for the Saints, but in all truth, it could have been much, much greater than that. And that man will take no consolation from the fact that his team scored the last try of the game.